So, whoop! Whoop, Matt. Okay. Well. That took a while. Alright. And. Boom! Not bad. The inside's kind of dark, but, um. The docking port's really quite nicely lit. It's gonna be the did the did those struts snap? It looks like they might have. Uh, and fly and fly no, just don't appear to be there. I'm gonna re-add them just to be safer rather than sorry, because yeah, they're just what the hell. I'm not crazy like they they were there at one point right? Boom there we go save. And while we're here, I mean, I was just going to let it be the darker part of the station, but since we're already in here, we might as well not make this the haunted station where we can throw Hal later or something. I'm sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> lights, lights, lights. Lights? Lights! Haha! -ha. Placing things on the inside. Oh, no, because we can just do this. Then rotate, rotate, rotate. Uh, shift up, 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 They look like they're supposed to be like that. Probably looks stupid as hell on the outside, though, but it's just, yeah. That. Then it doesn't look that bad. So, let's save that, launch that, and uh, see what that looks like. And if all looks good, we will go to space. There we go. Those struts are now there. That's probably more stable-ish. Lights! Um, not really helping the inside much. Might be too far clipped inside of the actual ship. Alright, so we'll try one more time with the lights, otherwise I'm just going to leave them, and this will be the Jane and Finch section of the station. That's a Toronto joke. So, like, 0% of my audience is going to get that. <laughs> what am I saying? Audience. Hello, one guy watching this. Lights. Well, I give up. Gonna launch with them anyway. I'm uh, gonna turn off that. Going to set a orbit and going to hit the space bar. So launching the first part of the space station. This is a glorious moment. Engage dramatic music in three, two, one. Ta-da! You know. There's just not that much fire with this nice, like, crazy engine. It just isn't as dramatic as, like, my old lifter, which had a central column of five engines. Or no, it had a mainsail in the center and then tri-engines on either side, and then there was just fire everywhere. Maybe I'll show you guys my other save at some point. But not today. Well, we have a good amount of electric charge. And for some reason, the control doesn't seem... Oh, that's interesting. Whatever. Anyway. To orbit we go. Hi-ho, hi-ho. It's off to orbit we go. And lights! That actually looks quite nice. I'm not sure what's lighting these up. That might be the lights on the inside of this thing that are actually doing that. And, like, KSP just doesn't understand internal lighting or d can't handle internal lighting, maybe. I don't know. But it looks quite nice. So that's that's a plus. Look at we're at We're already up to here, and we're still on half fuel. This... Does this hold fuel on its own? No, see, that doesn't even hold fuel on its own. Oh, that's why we're not using any, because engines generate. Oh, hello. Hello, yes. My headset has informed me that it would like to be plugged in. So, before my headset, that is, you know, 
letting me letting you hear me dies in the middle of a recording, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I have retoined. All right, so whoa. All right, so before we generate that periapsis, we are going to jettison. We will engage our C. Oh, wow. That. Well. That's. Crap. Only one thing now to do is crash horribly. Oh wait, no, that's creating an orbit. Only one less thing to do now. Crash horribly. I demand explosions. Because this has been a thing. Alright, oh, can't go any faster, we'll throttle it up. Well, poop. Alright, I'm just gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go back to the vehicle assembly building and fix our staging. <laughs> so, this. That was a mistake and a half. This does not jettison there. This jettisons there. Ha! Huh. Save and launch. So, yeah. Take two. Lift off of the flying pancake. <laughs> this is the stoop. If imagine if you were like waiting till like when. NASA finishes redeveloping their space shuttle and they come up with their new space uh, craft and you just see this on the launch pad just a stupidly large engine and then a nice like a thin section and then a giant space pancake like th this I don't how does this fly this must be a very like the aerodynamic just it I don't even know. This is just stupid. <laughs> this is by far the dumbest thing I've ever designed, and I am so proud of that. Oh, one thing I meant to do before. Turn that off so that we waste all of the fuel in here when we're getting it in position, because there's no point in wasting its fuel. Might as well save that for when it's in orbit, doing orbital corrections and orienting ourselves to look at things and... I don't know. Don't judge me. But we will be in orbit, for I have decreed it. And I mean, I'm using Mechjeb, so it's not like we're. It's not. It's not like it's that hard. Wow. Sure, that looked great on the stream. Go, go, go. What's our Apple Apps? Is it? Almost there. Oh, I guess I could just look up here since I'm. Um, the back chap. And. Oh, I forgot to power down the engine. Crap. Well, the 
This is going well. To space! Yep, so, um, nothing happened. This is definitely the second launch. Um, that thing that totally got edited out. No, it didn't. Um, yeah, that never happened. So, yeah, so welcome. We, uh, we just fixed our staging. So now we won't... Yeah, that was... That was bad. <laughs> There's no real better way to put it other than that was just stupid I'm not used to having this much fuel up like I'm not used to my lower stages lasting that long but this engine with this fuel tank it's just ridiculously powerful and efficient and I mean it's probably designed to be that way by the dev to be a little bit OP but then again it's also huge and heavy but it lifts itself quite well. I mean, look at that. It's crazy. Look at the speed we're gaining. I mean, we're out of the thicker atmosphere, but still, look at that. That's bloody ridiculous. <laughs> Watch. With my luck, we'll crash into the other debris of the other space station hub that hasn't crashed down yet. That's a legitimate worry, actually. So that lifter, not uh, not at a Kang orbit, might have actually stabilized into quite a circular orbit, but it does have a docking port, so we can clean it up pretty easily, or I could just end the flight, one or the other, haven't decided which. I think it might be kind of fun to go and uh, rendezvous with it and collect some space junk, so we might I might make an episode out of that. All right. So hold on a second there. And jettison. And engage autopilot. We'll give it some RCS so that it can get itself into the right. And then go. This is, uh, that's an interesting calculation. No, it is in 27 seconds. Yeah, that's a more accurate as to what I would think this burn's gonna take. Then we shall be in space. Finally. Well, I mean, we've already been in space, but we shall be in orbit. We have a nice... Yeah, our apoapsis is 150.1, and our periapsis is quickly coming up. And we have a periapsis. And it is quickly going to be pushed out to 150. And 146, 147, 148, 149. Lovely. And MechJeb, as promised, delivers a lovely, lovely station into orbit. Back away from the station. Goodbye, station. Goodbye. So long and thanks for all the horrible flying that I did. And we are going to rotate. Rotate, rotate, rotate. We are going to deorbit the heck out of this thing. Let's drop that periapsis and deorbited. But might as well make it faster. And we'll leave some fuel to fuel, you know, fuel oil of the explosion. Time warp again. That 
is a fantastic movie. I don't care what anybody says. What? Oh, let's get rid of this so we can let it tumble and burn up to its... Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. That should generate an interesting amount of flame if I leave it right there. Yeah! Ah, oh, just let it spin. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> this is gonna be... <laughs> oh... Get ready for more of this flying. Can you see why I use mech jab? I failed with mech jab. I failed with mech jab. Oy vey. Boom! Well, as Marvin the Martian would say, Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. But, uh, anyway, on that extremely disappointing note, <laughs> I will, uh, end this episode here and we will see you next time which should be next week um, and I mean it this time I mean it it's gonna happen probably and we will launch another section into space and we will attempt a rendezvous to test out these new docking ports so I will see you next time au revoir